In this video, we're going to use the three steps of sketch method to graph a shifted cosine graph. So we'll be looking at y equals negative cosine of x plus pi over four. So hopefully just looking at that, you can see we do have a phase shift here. Um, that negative out front should also be cluing us into a vertical reflection. So over the x-axis, just a little quick analysis to kick us off here. All right, so here's our template. We also make sure we analyze every piece and get a really nice graph. And here is our grid. Okay, so again, you can see the shift here. We're working with y equals a cosine bx minus c plus d, if we had a ver vertical shift there, which we don't for this one. Um, but check out videos, there will be more, um, and we will definitely address some vertical shifts. All right, so let's go ahead and jump in. We'll start with step one, find the essentials, and we're going to work first on the base graph and the scale labels, which you know will really get us into step two. Okay, so we see A is negative, understood one. Okay, so the amplitude would be one, because amplitude's a measure of distance, midline to max or min. Okay, um, but A is negative one, and I'm gonna go ahead and put a star and circle it over by plot base pattern because we know we're going to need the reflected base pattern of cosine. Okay, so instead of max zero, min zero, we'll flip that vertically. So we'll actually end up with a graph that's minimum zero, maximum zero. All right, so we see our B is an understood one. So we should have one cycle happening between zero and two pi. And we also use b when calculating our period. We do two pi divided by b for cosine. So the period here is just two pi, length of one horizontal cycle. All right, so now onto our scale labels. For our horizontal scale labels, we really intentionally designed this so each of our four key points aligns with horizontal tick marks. Okay, so we'll take our period and divide it by four and that will accomplish what we want. So two pi over four, reduces to pi over two. And that's how we'll label our horizontal axis. And our vertical axis, we can use one. So either look to A or just decide you're gonna use one because it usually works out nicely. All right, let's label our axes. So we have our horizontal axis counting by pi over two. So one pi over two, two pi over two, three pi over two, four pi over two. And let's just keep going, five pi over two. All right, and then of course you'll have the same values, just negative on the negative side of the horizontal axis. All right, and then we can label our vertical axis just counting by ones. So nice and easy, one, two, three. Negative one, negative two, negative three. All right, so we have a nice labeled grid to work from. And before we finish up step one, let's make sure we address our shifts. So we know that C over B will be our phase shift and B is an understood one here. We didn't even have to factor out the B. We do that if we have a B other than one um, just to make that phase shift really easy to see. Um, but you can see it nice and easy up here. Our phase shift is pi over four, but you do have to pay attention. It's X plus pi over four. So really that's written as X minus negative pi over four. Okay, and you're probably familiar with when you see plus with a horizontal shift, it's hiding the negative. So we are actually moving left by pi over four. All right. And we also see that we do not have a vertical shift. There's no plus or minus at the back end of this equation. So we do not have a vertical shift. All right, so now we've really done the meat of it. We have analyzed everything. We know what we're working with and all the information in the next two will be used in the next two steps as we get our graph. Okay, now we're on to step two where we will lightly plot the base pattern. So remember, this is not our final graph. We will need to shift in step three, um, but we wanna go ahead and plot our base pattern. Another thing to go ahead and know is we marked this, it is going to be a reflected base pattern. So we'll start with a minimum. Okay, so we know that for a base cosine graph, we'll start on the y-axis and we'll look to A for the value. So we know the y-coordinate will be negative one. Okay, so lightly mark 
a point at 0, negative 1. Okay, our first 0 should fall at the first horizontal tick mark. Our next key point will happen at the second horizontal tick mark, and its y-coordinate will have a value opposite of a, so in this case, 1. And our final key point in the base pattern will be another 0, and it will be at the third horizontal tick mark. Okay, let's close out our pattern with the first point of the repeat. It'll be a minimum at 2 pi, and that'll just help as we're sketching in our final graph. All right, this is our base pattern. So it is a flipped upside down cosine, and we know that other than that, it's pretty straightforward. Okay, we are waiting until the next step to do the shift. Okay, so step three, let's go ahead and shift, sketch, and repeat. So working from our green graph from step two, our base pattern, we know our only shift here, so we're looking at this part of step one for this information, our only shift is the phase shift or the horizontal shift. We're moving left by pi over four. Okay, know that if one horizontal tick mark is pi over two, half of that should be pi over four. Okay, and you can go in and label all that if you would like to or if your class requires it. Um, but I think that we know we can shift over by half a tick mark and that will accomplish our purposes here. All right, so each green tick mark will move to the left a half a unit. Okay, and we can make these marks very big because we know these will be our final points. Okay, and that's all there is to it. Just moving left by half a unit on our grid or by pi over four. All right, so let's sketch. And we've got our shifted cosine graph. Now let's repeat just for one cycle. So we move over four grid units or one, two, three, four, because we know that's how much space we need for our pattern. Okay, so we'll have the same pattern re repeated. So we'll have minimum, zero, maximum, zero, and repeat. So we've got another cycle of cosine sketch here. Okay, um, one final thing to point out. We know B is one, one cycle should be happening between zero and two pi. It's kind of a weird looking cycle, but you can tell that if you were to sketch this whole part between zero and two pi, that one full cycle of cosine does happen in that horizontal space. All right, so this is how you can use the three steps to sketch method for shifted cosine graphs to get a really good graph for y equals negative cosine of x plus pi over four. Check out the video description if you want more videos on how to graph cosine or if you wanna check out how to graph some of the other trig functions.